honest here. Here on Royal Chronicles, we like to shield the good and the bad of all our trips. So we just missed our train, and we're sitting here at AFD Rail Station. Uh, I would say just bad timing as far as like taking the boat here, and leaving the hotel at a certain time. Um, it was quite expensive. I definitely took a hit in the pocket. It hurt. Job definitely took a hit. Right, Job? Job's still bummed out. Um, but I made it as it is. So we'll get there an hour later. Money comes and goes. But uh, for right now, we're chilling at the empty train station just waiting. So I guess I'll check in with you guys when we get on the actual train. It's going to be a long train, too. It's like a four hour train all the way back to Rome. All right guys, we have just arrived at the train. Time is approximately 11.16. We should be departing in about nine minutes from now. Um, we get to Rome at 3.10, instead of, uh, I think like 2.10 or something. About an hour later, exactly an hour later. I'll check in with you guys, either halfway on the trip or when we get there. And I'm just waiting for job views about them real quick. Funny thing is, if you've never been to Europe, you probably wouldn't know this, but uh, none of their bathrooms are free. You have to pay this turnstile fee, which is usually like between a dollar and like two euros just to use the toilet in a, in a public place. Unless you're eating at a restaurant where you're buying food, you can't just come in and use the restroom. Unlike, you know, in America, they don't. They don't go hard like that. So that right there is... Oh, is this still... No, it's not. So, uh, at least on the Italian news stations, they... They go this way. They show a lot of violence that's been going on in uh, the Middle East, specifically Yemen. I don't know if Italy is actually involved with that stuff, but they are having some protests, uh, as you can see, reporting live from Royal Chronicle News. It is I. Still walking to the Pantheon. It's a little bit of a deeper walk than we had anticipated, but look how cool this is. It's called the Imperial Piazza. If you're into it, guys, walking down the final cobblestone, and you see the front of the Parthenon, which is a piece of it, followed by this huge dome. And look at all the people that are here. It's an insane amount of people. Talk about crowd control. So what you're looking at here is what they call a Nasane, which is like a public fountain. There's about 2,500 of them all over the city, and it's basically free drinking water. Um, you really don't have to pay for water if you live in Rome. A little tip, if you stick your finger in the spout upwards, it makes the water shoot up out of the top uh, like a regular water fountain. So it's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, that's what all the, the locals use to fill their bottles up and such. Today was kind of a short day. Uh, we spent the first like six hours of our day pretty much just traveling. And we just came from the Pantheon, as you can see, which was pretty cool. Um, I don't know what we're doing. We're going to head back to like the local hotel area of Termini. Probably hang out over there, kill some time, and then get some dinner in a couple hours. What do you think of for dinner tonight, Joss? Some samosas? Mm -hmm. or, or, or a sandwich? We're in the sandwich area. We are in the sandwich area. It's by the Trevi. Yeah, Trevi's pretty, not, it's not far. So. 
We'll see. We'll see. We don't know what we're gonna do right now. Right now, we're just walking. We'll take the train and come back over here. We are just walking. We might get some samosas. Who knows? I don't know. The shit lot is pretty good. You say potato, I say potato. It's basically like a curried potato that's fried in like a little batter thing. I don't know. It looked really good. I didn't try it. Java was in love with it. Me like the real. Shop had like five actually. He's low key being humble. Yo, come on. Yo, all I know blow, is why you gotta blow up my spot like that. All I know is I hear Neo playing in Italy. Why is Neo playing in Italy? Like it's like it's 2004 right now. <sighs> There's somebody who really likes that. Perhaps. Was, let's talk about Jav for a second. Let me bring this in. Let's talk about Jav and his gelati obsession. As you can see, there's almost nothing left. He was dogging it down. I love this stuff, man. I should have had like I had one a day, and I should have had like two a day. It's good. It has the vitamins, and it, it's recommended by all your local pediatricians. <laughs> pediatricians. So that, for those of you who are uninformed, a pediatrician is a doctor for a small child, uh, usually under the age of 12. Like job. Yep. <laughs> literally had a jati almost every day. <laughs> Dude, you can't say anything to make me uh, make me not happy or sad because I'm eating this thing and I'm like freaking awesome right now. It's like jungle noise. We went from Rome to like jungle ASAP. With palm trees and wild monkeys and birds and oh my god, look at this thing. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're supposed to be here, but I'm just gonna do a lap and then head out. We don't want any problems. Just like a it's about a museum. Small escape. It's like the eighth time I pull up the camera for this thing. It's just, I mean, you gotta see this thing in real life. And when you see it from the front, like it's even crazier. It has like these huge like horses, and there's just a lot going on. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. What's up? What? Okay guys, so I have a little something to share with you. Every night when we're in Rome, we stop by the same grocery store, we get the same snacks or similar snacks, and we enjoy it like every night. Sometimes we do it for dinner, sometimes we don't. Tonight, we found a different grocery store that's close by in the Termini, and we ended up going a little more than usual. I actually got like three chicken legs, like rotisserie style. Job got some pizza from there. Now we did our usual. This is what our usual is. Usually we buy um, different brands, but the mixed bowls of yogurt. This one is pistachio with pistachios inside. Sometimes I remix it and I got this 99 cent um, pecan, toasted pecans. Absolutely delicious when you throw them inside your yogurt. And I got this other mix, which is just like a granola and uh, <clears throat> yogurt thing. I'll show you what that looks like right now. Yeah, we were going so hard that we had to buy our own spoons because the hotel couldn't keep up with the, our supply that we needed. Yeah, so this is mine and this is my pistachio mix. Love pistachio. Anyone that knows me knows I love pistachio. It's his job over here, busting his pizza down. Vegetarian pizza with like mushrooms, Yeah, like onions. a veggie supreme pizza. So good. And then he got... A couple different. He got a couple different ones. He has a chocolate cereal mix. And then a Coconut and chocolate. And then a coconut flavored yogurt with chocolate balls. And right. then we got actual pieces of cocoa. Coconut. Right underneath. Fresh. Fresh from the Garden of Eden. Tonight's gonna be a good night, boys.